many people call Mount Washington the home of the world's first weather. The combination of cold temperatures, wet conditions, and high winds result in some truly spectacular storms. Weather observers have been collecting weather data from the top of Mount Washington since 1932. These data are publicly available, meaning anyone can investigate data from the weather station. The Mount Washington Observatory sits on the 6,288-foot summit of Mount Washington. The road up to the observatory runs along the ridge on the east side of the mountain. The points that you see on the peak of the mountain are several communications towers. People travel from all over the country to drive up the Mount Washington Auto Road. If you've seen one of these bumper stickers, then you've seen a car that has traveled to the top of Mount Washington. In the summer months, the road is open to regular traffic and takes about 40 minutes to get to the top. In the winter, the only way up is the snowcat, and that trip takes at least an hour and a half. One of the many events that take place on Mount Washington is the climb to the clouds, where drivers race to the top of Mount Washington. The most recent winner made it to the top in under six minutes and reached a maximum speed of 113 miles per hour. It is one of the oldest auto races in the country, first run in 1904, predating both the Indy 500 and NASCAR. The observatory tower looks very different in the winter months compared to summer. In the winter, it's often encased in snow and ice, and in the summer you can see the building in its natural state. No matter what time of year, the weather observers at the Mount Washington Observatory are diligently collecting weather data. Staffed continuously since 1932, it's operated by two alternating crews who live on the summit for a week at a time taking hourly weather observations, performing research, and conducting educational programs. The cryosphere is a subset of the hydrosphere. So the, hydrosphere the data that the weather observers have been collecting from the summit are available for scientists and students to explore. Mount Washington has seen many intense storms over the years. The worst of these storms are documented on this wall at the observatory. One of the more recent storms on the wall occurred in February 2015. It was particularly notable because this bomb cyclone nor'easter had very cold temperatures and hurricane force winds that caused some damage to the usually indestructible building. The weather observers who were on Mount Washington for the storm remember it well. It sounded like a freight train in here and everything was vibrating. Um, even though we're in a very solid concrete building, the winds were so strong and so forceful that it was actually creating a hum and a vibration inside of the building. And it was so loud that even the radio crews could hear it down in the valley below when we were calling it for live radio shows. So that was pretty unique um, and not something very commonly occurring up here. 